Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these cool scrolling panels similar to how Apple did in its recent AI presentation. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start off with a new blank presentation. We'll right click, layout blank. First, let's create the panel. We can click in the drawing menu, choose rounded corner rectangle and click anywhere. I want this to be a very light grey with no outline. If we right click and go to format shape, we can adjust the size from here. I'm going to make it 10.5 wide by 5 high. And adjust the rounded corners just a little bit by dragging this yellow dot to the left. We'll type our first text. Make sure we've selected the whole thing by clicking on the outside. And then let's change the text formatting. We'll click home and I'll choose this darkest grey here. And set the font to fig tree. You can choose anything you want. And 16 point. I also want it to be aligned to the left. Then under text options, text box, just going to set a slightly different margin. 0.5 on the left, 1 on the right, 0.5 on the top and the bottom, and align it to the bottom. Now let's add the icon. And for this, I'm just going to go to insert icons and pick anything. And I want to make this blue, so I'll go to graphics fill and choose this blue. And then drag it up to here and size it down a bit by dragging this top right corner. Then I hold down shift just to move it up a bit. And that looks really good to me. And it's now easy, once you've got this, to make your variations by right clicking, going to change graphic and picking anything else. I'll just Control Z to undo that. Now I can select all of this and Control G to group, place it where I want, which is about here. And now we have our panel, I'm going to duplicate it and add the animation, and then we can change the text and the icons later. And now I want to create this, so there's three panels that cover the screen, so I can press Control D to duplicate it, drag it into position, and Control D again. Now I can select them all by holding around Shift, and drag it so it's about in the middle. That's pretty good. I'll use Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly. Select them all, Control D again. Make sure they're aligned. That's perfect. Now I have my six. We're going to animate this in a bit, but first I would change each of these panels to have the text in that you want and the icon that you want. And that's because we're going to duplicate the first three to make it seamlessly loop in a minute. So to save time and speed this video up, I've just quickly pasted in the different icons and the different text I had in my example. And now we're going to duplicate the first three and put them on the far right, which will make this animation seamless when we loop it. So I'll use Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out again, select the first three, hold down Control and Shift and drag it to the right, and then make sure that they're set perfectly, as you can see by these guides. And now that will make a perfect loop when we animate it. So I'm going to select everything here by clicking and dragging and covering the whole lot, pressing Control G. Now let's add the animation. We'll go to Animations, and I want to choose a motion path. So I go to add animation and pick the motion path here. The default will be down. I want it to go left. We'll click to reveal the animation pane. There's a few changes I want to make here. If we double click, I want to make sure smooth end is zero and smooth start is zero. And under timing, I want to make it repeat until the end of the slide. So it will continually loop and to make it start with previous, so it starts when we come into the slide, press OK. At the moment, the time sets to two seconds, just so we can see it perfectly loop, and then we're going to change it, so it's a really nice slow animation, about 20 seconds will do nicely. So if I click on this little red dot, I'm gonna show you how you can set up this perfect loop. So we want to click on this little red dot, hold down shift to keep the Y position the same, and then drag to the right until the last three panels are perfectly overlaid. You can zoom in a bit if you want to do this, so I'll press Control and the mouse wheel and zoom in. But that looks really good to me. If I click on the red dot again, you can see if it wasn't perfectly overlaid, it might look a bit like that. But perfectly overlaid, it's like this, which will give it a really smooth loop. 
So if we run that at the moment, it's very fast, but it's completely smooth and loops perfectly. Now we'll set it to 20 seconds to give it that smooth feel. And then I'll show you how you can make the others. So now let's play that. Great, a really nice smooth looping effect. We can make a duplicate of this for the second one down. But to create the variations on the text and the icons, I would do it in the same way as I showed in this example. But I'm just going to duplicate the same one in mine to save time and show you how quickly you can make the reverse animation. I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and drag this down so it's in the right position. Then under Effect Options, we go to Reverse Path Direction and it will go the other way. Now let's play that. Nice. Let's quickly do the last example at the bottom. So we'll click on the top, hold down Control and Shift and drag down. That'll make a copy while locking the position. And adjust it so it looks right with the gap above. For this one, if we go to Animations, Animation Pane, I'm just going to slow it down a bit. You can actually do different things to offset it, but this is the easiest in this example. Great, a looping animated panel slide in the same style as the Apple AI presentation they did recently. And I think this looks great and it's really powerful and impactful for your audience. If you'd like to download any of the source files for my recent presentations, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and create stunning slides, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.